Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a quick video, probably just for the B channel on Facebook, um, about something that happened to me a few years ago and then how it's applicable today, unfortunately. Um, so a few years ago, I was driving to the range with, you know, my truck full of guns, ammo, uh, camera gear, audio equipment, etc. Um, easily $15,000 worth of equipment and a lot of NFA items, those sorts of things. Um, I came to a point on the street that I was driving on and essentially traffic was stopped and then a group of people who happened to be Black Lives Matter, but it really doesn't matter for this video, um, protesters were walking through um, basically this area of stopped cars. Um, so you can imagine, obviously I look the way I do, there's nothing I can do about that, right? Um, and I was a little bit worried about what could possibly happen, particularly with everything that was in the vehicle, particularly with the size of the crowd, it was a big crowd. And um, long story short, nothing happened at all, but it made me rethink um, kind of like how I was set up in my vehicle, right? So um, this morning and last night, I was watching uh, videos of people in San Jose and other cities where they're trying to you know, kick uh, people's doors in, bust through their windows, try to pull them out of cars. <laughs> Those sorts of things um, and that's that that is what I was afraid of and, and truly this isn't a racial issue it's not a white versus black I mean if you're you know a black guy and happen to come upon a, a KKK protest or something everything here applies right uh, or even just some crackhead trying to bang on your window and get some money from you um, but the problem I found myself having at that moment was that essentially I had a hammer and everything looked like a nail right um, because I had a bunch of guns on me, loaded, ready to go, that I absolutely could have employed uh, should things have gotten to a deadly force type of situation. Again, they didn't, but this was all run through my mind, but I didn't have a de-escalation tool or a non-lethal option. So that's changed. Now, ever since that day, um, I've changed up what I do. So in my car right now, I actually have two of these particular items. Um, there are a myriad of different types of uh, OC or pepper spray out there. Uh, this is Sabre Red and then the other ones I have are from Asp and those two brands I definitely recommend. Um, and the reason I did that was, you know, obviously, so that way if something did swarm me or a group of people did swarm me, I would have some way to at least have them uh, create space between my vehicle uh, without having to resort to deadly force. Uh, if possible. So two of these, these particular ones are in my car right now. And um, I also have these, uh, the smaller ones that sometimes I carry, I always use whenever I'm uh, jogging or anything like that. Uh, this one, generally speaking, from a practical standpoint, you can get accurate hits on someone's face pretty easily out to like 12, 15 feet. This one out to about eight or 10. However, this is gonna give you way more sprays, all those sorts of things. This is meant to obviously carry on you carrying a hand. Uh, they make a bigger model as well that kind of has like a squirter to it uh, from uh, Sabre Red. Those are all good. Um, I just, that's not what I have. Um, so I can't show you that. These ones are cool um, from Ath. That just went in the water. Oh well. Uh, it's not like the lake water, it's a little feeder piece of water so I can grab it out. But uh, these are cool, so I have two of these. This one obviously is still in a package because I haven't had any reason to open it. Um, but Asp has these keychain things and essentially you can just carry it just like regular keychain as you walk through a crowd. No one would think anything of it. And then uh, these are the inserts that you put in there. And if you want to train with it too, they have these inner ones here so you can practice and I definitely recommend doing that because if you've never used OC or pepper spray uh, it can be a little bit complicated. Uh, both of these designs though the reason I, I like these two well for two reasons number one they're very proven products and they're very easy so on this one literally all you do is just move this one over press down and you're hot uh, the same is essentially true here on the asp it's a little bit different but it's very similar concept in terms of very easy to do um, under stress those sorts of things. Um, of course, you could use things like foghorns, other means to try to get people off your vehicle, but it's just something to think about. And obviously these you can use, again, when walking through a crowd as well. It just gives you another option, um, so that way you don't have to go to guns if you don't want to. Um, if you don't have to, rather, it's probably a better choice of words. Um, I'll probably do a video, have my wife 
use these products on me and you guys will uh, get some entertainment out of it. But I just want to share that story um, because it seems unfortunately relevant um, right now. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.